Hello everybody, Vapes and Games here and welcome to today's video or one of today's videos because I make a couple of days sometimes because I'm just that good, you know? <laughs> Today we're going to be trying out Warframe on the PlayStation 5. I don't know what spurred this video on in the slightest. I just had an urge to sort of check out this game on a whim. I remember years ago a friend of mine said it was a terribly good title and a great free-to-play experience and allegedly they've built on it since then it did come up on a list when i was looking at looter shooters and sort of the whole scape of looter shooters in research for a video and i thought you know what let's try it out and then even better let's make a video on it so this is me vapes and games trying out warframe in 2024 and letting you guys know from a new player perspective what it's like, what it's about, and is it worth your time. So without further ado, let's get into this, man. So it appears to have some sort of cinematic introduction. Let's go. No purpose. No call to wake you. So the FMV sequences do seem horrifically high quality and very well done. Beautiful detailing, actually. Grenier. Seeds from the ruins of the old war. Swallowing colonies whole. But there's still hope. It's got a great fantasy vibe, a sort of an action RPG, sort of Diablo esque the style cutscene. Monuments of an ancient warrior caste. Scattered across frail worlds. Got kind of a science fiction vibe across me, sort of monster hunter world. Quite interesting, actually. Oh, very nice. That's like some sort of xenomorph hunter type. Heavily inspired by sort of samurai combat by the looks of it. like some sort of wizard type archetype pretty sick Is 
This kind of looks like all three of them fighting together. So big props to the team that did this FMV sequence is very, very good. Together they fought back. Bringing an end to an empire. Then they left. Forgotten. Like a dream. Okay. Wake up. Okay, so like the Nephilim are to what Diablo 4, 3 and 2 are, the Tenno are sort of our heroes of the story. Now, I did try this game out about three years ago. It may have been three or four years ago. And, um... Uh, I do kind of remember like these three characters um excalibur mag and vault uh, i will say the production value the introduction and the overall aesthetic of the game thus far is blowing my mind a little bit actually for a free to play title also if that intro was a little bit distorted i do apologize there was no option to lower the volume i do use a compressor on my videos to try and rain in the audio levels and keep everything a nice even keel for you guys on youtube although that was pretty disgustingly loud although i did enjoy every minute of it so we've got excalibur here optimizes the warrior spirit his master swordsmanship deals high damage he is an embodiment of martial excellence we have mag take down your enemies with magnetic force mag alters magnetic fields to provide crowd control and strip enemy defenses few can resist her attraction or her repulsion repulsion so this one is indeed a female electricity flows through vault deals high damage enemies will be shocked so you've got like sort of uh, uh so we'll say kind of roundabout sort of a physical sort of kinetic being we've got like a mage archetype and then we've got sort of um, our samurai stroke, sort of warrior rogue-esque. Um, these are the abilities that we start with and what rank they're at and what not. And Excalibur deals 10% increased damage and attacks 10% faster with swords. Mag. Nearby items gravitate towards Mag, so Mag's little thing is uh, she doesn't have to pick items up and grounded movement generates electrical charges building up to 10 damage per meter to unleash within the next attack so vault kind of builds up static energy as moving quite interesting so we're going to roll out for the sake of this one with excalibur he just sort of stands out as something i would like to play and i do believe i played this character years and years and years ago when i first tried out the game so it'd be interesting if any of those memories can come back and sort of rejuvenate um what I kind of think of the uh, of the changes that have happened over the years. So we're going to confirm this right here. And it looks like we're going straight into the game. This isn't an FMV sequence. It's definitely uh, rendered. And my God, the graphics are quite good. Like this triple air tackle here, in my opinion. I see the Lotus has. It's a great looking game. Pity she 
I'm actually a little bit shocked here. I may be a little bit biased, though, because I love everything science fiction. I've just recently watched Dune 2, and uh, I love Aliens, I love X-Files, like I'm a massive science fiction fan, so I could be a little bit biased in that regard. Oh my gosh. Press R1 and X. Holy shit, the combat, dude. So, we've got, like, a double jump. Okay. Um, the R1 and X. Uh, so R1 looks like it unlocks the Dot of Four abilities. Uh, it's only letting us use the one thus far. The camera angle is terribly zoomed in. And I'm hitting a box here. My bad. So let's just, first and foremost, and I do apologize for pausing the action. We're going to take a little bit of a look out the controls here so i do play invert um we are going to lower the sensitivity just a touch it is a, it is crazy it's a little bit a little bit high for me but i do tend to find that um i am a lower sense player personally per 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 um create a mode hide some common spoilers remove some common Transmissions, yeah, we'll we'll stick that on for you guys in case you are just watching this with an idea to play in the game yourself. We don't want to spoil anything for anybody. And yeah. So we're gonna have a look here. Field of view slider. You love to see it. GPU particle quality. Disable to improve performance. Oh my god, we have PC style. Um we have PC style options available. This is a very, very impressive package. We've got brightness, contrast, field of view, particle qualities, um, ambient occlusion, motion blur. We've got it all here. And this is great. We're just going to disable possibly the... Um, I think we'll take off the film grain and bloom just for the sake of the video, as it can interfere with the sort of uh, YouTube uh, encoder algorithm. And then we're going to move forward with this game. But, hey, that's got to be the most impressive set of options I've seen in a bloody long time. Oh, my God, look at this now. Wow, this game is, like... I mean, I wonder what lock... Is there a lock on? I mean, ship is waiting for you, but the I'm a little bit like, why have I never played this? Like, I did try it years ago, but it didn't feel like this. This is insanely good. Like, why is this company not making a triple A game? This is nightmarishly good. So we're going to click it L3 here. Got a little bit of a sprint going on. And for me, uh, the controls are still a little bit high. I am stipulating, though, I am a very low sense player. Uh, I do apologize. I'm old. Forgive me. Uh, so we'll, we'll lower that down a little bit here. So this is much more palatable for me. Yeah, people may be looking at this going, 10 sensitivity? My God. Right, so pick up scanner. Um, pick up the bow. Um, so let's just have a look here. The circles our attack button our ones activate our ability which can also be used force reversal it would appear we've got air attacks and um, we're also going to pick up the scanner the much more faster less methodical weapon double jump over this use our ability oh we've run out of energy actually so you can't use it endlessly for dashing, it would appear. Now, I do remember when I played this years ago, it was very corridor-driven, uh, very indoor, closed-off environments. I do not recall there being anything like this outside, and I do not recall the graphics looking this clean 
Uh, I am a little bit taken back by how beautiful this game is. <clears throat> so, can we pick this up here? I don't know if that's bugged out or we can't just, like, actually pick it up. For some reason, it says primary ammo is full. So... So is there a crouch button here? Um, right, L1 is crouch. There we go. This is clearly some sort of tutorial area. Very easy enemies. But I think we can all be in agreement here. That the game is a beautiful bit of kit. Uh, so we can slide as well. It's got like a slide cancel mechanic. Damn. I'm getting definite Diablo sort of action RPG vibes from this game. We're going to pick up a Lato. I'll throw in knives. I'm going to go with the Lato. And we are... Right, so we've got R2 here. Oh, my God. We've got ranged weaponry as well. This is pretty insane. There is a touch of aim assist as well. Good to see. This is a very fast paced game. We're going to run, slide, come forward. It's also showing our reticule, reticule light halo, which directions we're getting shot from. Uh, gotta say, guys, pretty goddamn impressed. The production value is great. Feels really smooth. Looks fantastic. A lot of functionality and a lot of um, a lot of customization in the graphic settings as well, which is kind of brilliant. Wow! Like some sort of Assassin's Creed wall scale in there. Boink, boink. Let's go. You can actually hold an X to traverse up walls, which is uh, kind of nice. And the science fiction aesthetic is very, very good. Salvage team, why have you not reported in? Beautiful cutscenes as well. You made it. There's the extraction chip. So it is kind of looking a little bit like um, Helldivers, where it's kind of an extraction-based mechanic after you've done certain things. And this is kind of looking like a bit of a boss-style character here. So we're going to... So our one is a block and... It... Hang on, let's try this. See if it's a block. Yeah, it's blocked for sure. And we also could use our abilities... It's a little bit like in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth when you're holding block, you can kind of quick cast your abilities. Kind of amazing, actually. See, we can air dash. Oh, it keeps flashing around. What a pain. Take out this dude over here. We got a little bit of energy from that. Uh, the gore effects are pretty cool, actually. But there is an option to turn them off for you guys. They're a little bit squeamish. If you're a badass individual like myself, you're going to love that. Let's go. Go, baby. Where's he at? Where's he at? The aim response curve is kind of nice as well. It's a little bit like dynamic. Uh, Call of Duty. So what that means is when you're aiming, very slight movements are very slow. But if you pull it across, you get quite a lot of aim assist. Uh, acceleration, sorry. Um, so we're going to shoot this little bugger over. Oh, shit. Calm down. Calm down. I'm going to try and set these out of range here. And we're going to reload with square. 
So squares kind of pertaining to reloading your gun circles, kind of um, your sword weaponry. So we're going to release the lot down here. We're going to keep moving forward. Hey, I think I am actually going to play more of this game. Uh, it feels kind of amazing. Um, how, how this is a free-to-play title, I will never know. Uh, this company, this uh, publisher, should be 100% making a AAA game. Uh, they do not advertise this game enough, in my opinion. I mean, I've, I'm literally a, a, a hardcore gamer. I've heard nothing about this. Um, and I'm actually blown away by this game. Oh my god, you see that sort of Max Payne dive I did? Wow! Oh, holy Matrix! Jesus, man. You see this? Oh, 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 oh. oh, baby. That is absolutely brutal. This game's amazing. You got your range combat, you got your melee combat. Boom, boom, boom. Oh my days. What a brutally beautiful game. So, I don't know how far we're going to take this with the video, obviously. We don't want to make it too long. But we obviously, holy shit. We do. Uh, but we do kind of obviously want to get through sort of the tutorial zone and kind of have a look at the early sort of leveling up, uh, leveling capabilities, uh, weapon upgrades and whatnot. But we may have to do a slightly bigger series to cover that. But we will see. Sound up in the comments if you'd like to see more Warframe from myself. I don't actually know what's going on. Why do I keep teleporting back here? Have I gone the wrong way? I'm not. So, okay, I think we're supposed to take these out here. Oh my god, you can deflect bullets? Is that right? Holy shit. This game is pretty baller, boys. Holy moly. I mean, like I said, I'm a little bit biased. I'm a science fiction fan. But this game's ticking a hell of a lot of boxes for me right now. I'm not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. I wasn't asked to produce this content today, by the way. I have just literally got up. Fancy playing something a bit different. Because you're a friend, I'm going to offer you something special. Just remember, one per customer. Okay, daily tribute. Claim your reward. Okay. So, what do we actually do here? Do we just move the mouse cursor over? Okay, mutagen sample. Operator, you have returned. I am Ordis, ship Cephalon, a shadow of my former self. I cannot serve the operator in such a condition. Order me to self-destruct. I will understand. I don't know why would do that, but for this old technology, it is superior to theirs. Perhaps there are systems left in the orbiter compartment. Right, let's just have a read of this chat and just check if these uh, active Discord chat and memes, hundred percent weapon research, lots of giveaways, tough content contests, monthly discounted prime sets for sale. Um, Arsenal management could be restored. If just trying to get a feel for if the chat is sort of laced with uh, sort of bots and sellers. You can see who the PlayStation players are and who the PC players are. This is obviously, well, not obviously, but it's available on PC as well. I'm kind of unsure to whether it's available on Xbox also. We'll try and keep our eye out for an Xbox logo. Uh, we can't restart this. Am I missing a component? Or... 
So we kind of have like a Helldivers style ship here. And it's kind of Helldivers that made me want to try out this type of uh, sort of game and whatnot. Uh, restore ship comms. So we do seem to have something on my arm here. I don't know what that is. Is that the comm thing that I'm supposed to use or... Alright, oh, I was holding the button. We were supposed to just tap it. So, good note to oneself. Go holding the button. You honor Ordis. Now I can supply the operator with better modded firepower. Oh, the violation. Those have been looted as well. This game must be doing an Unreal Engine. It just looks so beautiful. Captain Vore has done to you and stop him. But we'll need help. I found a communication segment we might salvage for your ship. When you are ready, activate your navigation system. So this is kind of holy moly, guys. We have opened a can of worms here that we may not be able to close. Look at these planets, guys. Holy shit. Let's take a look at Earth here. Uh -huh. So when you zoom in, it does zoom into towards your cursor. So, restore ship communications. So it has got what looks to be sort of, although it's um like sort of an extraction shooter like Helldivers where you go down to planets and whatnot. It does look like it has some kind of story, um, story-based mission. So it's doing a countdown here. So maybe it's matchmaking us. I don't actually know. If there's matchmaking and stuff. But I don't want to make this video too long. So if we get 10 likes and 5 comments, I will be definitely... Or if you actually post in the comments that you'd like to see more. I would love to cover some more of this game for you guys. If you have enjoyed today's content. Breaking through. I Let's go. The so smooth. Mind. So buttery smooth. Go over his out of the tutorial area. I don't believe the early missions are going to be overly difficult here. But this is, by rights of what I see so far, a terribly well made game. He's got great foundational combat. Graphics are on point. The story seems fantastic. And the only thing that I could see possibly letting it down is sort uh, of the leveling mechanics or the end game. But from a first experience, it looks absolutely phenomenal. So, choose our samurai ability there. Nice. And we're collecting some energy and some nodes and some primary ammo. So it does have um, loot for the guns and the abilities and stuff. So like mana systems and resource systems and whatnot. So I presume that on the harder difficulties, we're probably going to struggle a little bit more to get sort of these resources that we need to complete our mission. We'll just have a little bit of a route around here. But the graphics are absolutely, truly amazing. And how fluid this game is, is just bizarre. The target console is nearby. Point, point, point. Point, point, point. The enemy will start destroying data. There we go. That was quite tricky to do, actually. Gonna slide down here. Boom, ba -da -ba -boom. Oh, shit, 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 shit. No, no, no. Are we dead? Oh, I think we just... Can we actually get back up there? Oh, it looks like we can go this way, I think. Oh, my God, we got the shot. No, I'm not going to judge the difficulty of the game. Uh, thus far. A clean extraction with no alarms. A clean extraction with no alarms. Head to extraction. 
It looks like we've completed the core task here. Every moment passes, the Ascaris burrows deeper, Oh my god, look at that guy. Oh, actually, no, how we get back up here. Do we actually go out the bottom, or... Let's just have a little bit of a look here. Ah, oh, there's some stairs. Beautiful. So it does say if we get out without an alarm sounding, we will get a bonus. Pathogen rounds, toxin. We have just looted something here, actually. Let's just see if we can... So it does appear to be challenges, abilities, melee combos for different stances. Oof. This looks like it's got the bones and the making of a really, really great game. And I'm kind of shocked that I've not actually um, been recommended this or heard much of it. Uh, you don't really see it advertised too often. It's not in your face all the time, like sort of Fortnite, Call of Duty, and stuff like that. And even Helldivers has had plenty of advertising. I've never, uh, never sort of had this brought up. I don't really know many people that play it either, but obviously there is a community here. You can see in the chat box, there's plenty of people playing currently. There's maybe a game we do have to delve a hell of a lot deeper into. I'm going to try and make our extraction here. Bum, 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 bum. Let's go. So, you slash ability does cover... Uh, a very wide range of um, terrain. If you do need to get like fast cover something, pretty cool. Uh, it's, it's looking like it's this way. Yeah, sort of. The voice is behind us. The sound design is very good. Can hear somebody coming up behind me? It seems to be fighting with the pla with the planet's dogs as well. So it's not just me that's like the fighting against. There is kind of like the fighting the planet's wildlife as well. Beautiful. So there's the mission complete. And it's looking like we ranked up the gun wank. Wanked? <laughs> the gun ranked up. The weapon ranked up. Um, it's looking like right across the board we've unlocked uh, pathogen rounds. Hornet strike, serrating, pressure point. We got some loot here. We got some credits. It looks like we got like a title quick draw. Um, it tells us how long it took. And we opened a vault. Orbiter void cloak engaging. Welcome back, operator. Welcome the back, operator. operator. A segment. In, in, install it now. Orders patiently awaits its installation. Do we do have an number of message? I must analyze what Vor's Ascaris is doing to your Warframe. This, this message marks the 11th here. Earth cycle has origin. passed since I called you for the first of you to work. John and Milestone, allow me to bespoil you. There's Dex Nikana upon you. Tenno, for all these years, your fight has been relentless. Your enemies are unceasing. Brutality, your strength must now also grow. Through the coming days and weeks, you will alert you to some items that have been taken by our foes. The yours by rights recover them, become even stronger. These two are my gifts. Eleven years this game's been going. Is that right? Holy moly. For real? So we can look at the stats of items with R2. Uh, let's have a look here. So, whatever we've just got from the story mission here, we are employing it on the ship. Systems engaging. New... Leveran Vor Runner. Okay. So what is this? The operator is now connected with other Tenno in the system. The operator Atlas, Grendel, Ivara, Goss, Nova, Ash. Are these playable characters or excellent idea, Ordis. 
Tenno, we need to make contact with a corpus defector sympathetic to the Tenno cause. Oh, what's just happening? They will, of course, require compensation. You see what Ortis is referring to, operator? In this case, compensation. Where on earth will am I going be here? It will be freedom. Salix Sindana? Navigation. You will need to break him out of a Grenier Gulag. What the there. hell are all these? So, first time then, Drusus Leverian. Welcome to my humble cabinet of curiosities. Uh, drop any donations in the little box. Now, the Leverian is a bit of a work in progress, but please do look around. I only ask you be gentle with the collection. Uh, the displays are quite valuable, uh, quite rare, and some may still be <laughs> armed. Are these like new characters we can unlock? The grand doors of the Chamber of the Seven flew open. Across that reverberating expanse of polished darkness strode Ivara, dragging her prize. Before the assembled council, she dropped him, and with it, the Myrmidon's battered helmet. Here, he would meet justice at the hands of his own people. Here, her fallen friends would be avenged. So is this sort of lore about characters and what they can use and stuff? Or is this kind of... Oh my god, so it's like sort of um, a museum type setup where you can go and look at their items and stuff. Okay, so you can loot the blueprints it would appear or you can buy sort of the Tenno with real world money. So let's just take a look um, at how much the points cost. Get yeah, platinum, so 275 here. So yet again, with games like this, as we know, the currency is never equal to what you need. You're going to be looking at 1499 with a bit left over. Mm, it's not too bad. Uh, I mean, games these days are a lot pricier on the microtransactions. But there's definitely, definitely potential here. And by rights, there are three tenors that you can play out pretty much all of the game with um, and get a real feel for how things play out and how the mechanics are, the leveling, the end game, and whatnot. So there's absolutely no reason to go out and spend money on this game unless you truly, truly wanted to. So, this has been a first look at Warframe in 2024. If you did like what you'd see, or you'd like me to play more and uncover some of the deeper mechanics of this, uh, what I'm going to call a AAA free-to-play game, then send it in the comments and let me know. But until next time, guys...